What up YouTube, it's your boy Ricky Rick and your boy Ricky Rick is back to give you what you want. Your boy is back to give you a brand new Ricky at the half. That's right, bubble edition. I'm not here to talk about the Lakers. I'm not here to talk about the Bucks. I'm not even here to talk about the Clippers. Today, I wanna to talk about my boy, my man, Devin Booker from the Phoenix Suns, 2015 round one, 13 overall pick. Now, let's face it guys. I'm not going to be here like, yeah, Devin Booker, you know, he's, you know, I always knew it. This guy got it going. This fool can ball, yada, yada, yada. Nah, I'm not going to give you that bullshit. Because just like the rest of you guys, when I saw this guy do his shot over Kawhi and PG, I was like, damn, this fool just became a superstar. This guy was fearless. He went, what up? I'm here. Remember the name, Devin Booker. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. You know, the team was like, yeah, these guys ain't making the playoffs. You know, nobody thought too much about the Phoenix Suns. I didn't think about the Phoenix Suns. We weren't even worried about it. They didn't even think about them. But what do they do? They do what, what ends up happening from time to time. A young superstar who has heart and is determined and is focused to go out there and prove himself. So what did he do? He went to Orlando, he suited it up, and he happened to go 8-0. That's right. Not the Lakers, not the Clippers, not the Bucks, not even the Raptors, but the Phoenix Suns were the only team to go to Orlando, go play in the bubble, and come out 8-0. That's right, 8-0. So here we are talking about the Lakers, the Bucks, the Raptors, and whoever else is going to win the title. But then here comes Devin Booker. You know, because Devin Booker, he's a superstar. This is what he does for a living. So he's paying attention. All right, nobody ain't talking about me. That's cool. Let's give him something to talk about. You know, so we got hit with the 2020 coronavirus. Disaster all around the world. Face masks. Gloves, sanitizing. This fool went to the gym, put in work, worked on his skills, put in more work, shooting, hooping, gym, lifting, running. This guy came back ready to play. This guy came ready to ball. This guy came to do his thing, play this game, and left everybody remembering his name. Just saying. Because, goddamn, I know next season, everybody's going to have an eye. Everybody's going to be waiting for this guy. Everybody knows that this guy can ball. And, yeah, the Phoenix Suns, they didn't make the playoffs this year. But next season, different story. And everybody knows who Booker is now. But it's okay. You are about to get paid, my friend. You about to get paid. You know? Money, money stacks. <laughs> now, I'm not sure like you're going to get paid like Mahomes, but you get paid, you know, for what you did. As long as you bring that energy, that mentality, that focus, that heart, that determination for the Phoenix Suns. Because the Phoenix Suns, been all right, been all right. Everybody knows that I'm a big, huge Kobe Bryant fan. I'm a Laker fan. It's no secret. So I don't really like the Phoenix Suns. Especially the times when Kobe would play against Steve Nash. In the playoffs. You know what those playoffs meant for us. It sucked losing to the Phoenix Suns two times in a row. Back to back seasons. But time has moved on. The Lakers since then have won two titles in 09 and 2010. And the Phoenix Suns went out to um, win none. So, we good. <laughs> Later on, Steve Nash joined the Lakers. So did Dwight. But nothing happened. Interesting how when we get big names to join the Lakers, we can't seem to win. Gary Payton, Carl Malone, another big story there in 2004. Could not make it happen. Wow. Cannot believe we didn't make that happen. But... Now that I brought up the Black Mamba, 
Monday through Friday next week is Mamba Week. So, what are we going to do to represent the Black Mamba? We got to say something. I got to come up with a great video. Now, I want to do something different, something that I haven't done before because I have talked about Kobe Bryant on this channel. I have talked about Kobe and Gigi. So, I got to think of something. I got to come up with something for the Black Mamba. And, speaking of the Black Mamba, Orange County has named August 24 Mamba Day. So, shout out to Black Mamba. We haven't forgot about you. We still love you. We still care about you. We still miss you every single day. And, one more thing about the Black Mamba and Devin Booker. When he made that shot, I mean, you know what shot I'm talking about. I'm talking about the shot that he made over Kawhi and over PG and landed on the ground just looking up and knowing he made that shot. That's right. Devin Booker's name, boom, blew up. You just became famous. You just became somebody. Everybody knows your name. It got a lot of attention, a lot of eyes rolling like, damn, you see that? This guy can ball. This guy can play. And when they were asking him on an interview, a question in the interview, he said, did you guys look at my shoes? It says, be legendary. That's what Kobe Bryant told this guy, told his kid. Go out there and be legendary. And that's exactly what he did in the bubble. He went and played. Not only did he play, he was serious. Like I said, he played with heart. He was focused. He was determined. And he left everything on the floor. And you already know, when you work hard and you play hard, you know, good things happen. He put in the work, and the work is definitely showing. Devin Booker, I can't wait to see you play next season. You know, just the things that you did in the bubble, a few things that I saw, you a superstar. I'm just saying, you got it, kid. You know, stay clean, stay focused, don't get lost. Because you just became a star. Enjoy that vacation. Enjoy that time off. Continue to work on your ball skills. Because you can ball. You can play. And you can go a long way. So my advice to you, stay clean. Hopefully you keep a good head in your shoulders. You look like a good kid. You're only 23 years old. That's crazy. That is insane. So you got a lot of game, a lot of miles left. And... Who knows? You can turn the Phoenix Suns around. They can build the team off you. And next season, you're not in the playoffs this season. But next season, who knows where you're going to be at. Maybe top five. Because the way you were balling right now, I'm so sad to not see you in the, in the playoffs. But I'm glad you're not in the playoffs. Who knows? Come against my Lakers. Woo, take us out. Now that the playoffs are coming, this is crazy. I believe the playoffs start on Tuesday, and the Lakers are going to play either the Grizzlies or the Pacers or Blazers. I'm sorry, Blazers. Thinking about the east side now, the Blazers. It's either the Blazers or the Grizzlies. Whoever the Lakers play, I feel, and I believe in my team. I want to see the Lakers and the Blazers play, but I think it's going to be the Lakers and the Grizzlies for some reason. Just because the Blazers, they can play, they can ball, and... It's going to be an interesting playoffs, you know, watching it in the bubble. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm thrilled. Um, hopefully, we get the Bucks versus the Lakers or the Toronto Raptors versus the Lakers. I would love to see that. Um, MVP. <laughs> Give it to LeBron. Defensive player of the year, Anthony Davis. Let's go. Lakers all the way. Just give us all the titles. Give us all the rewards. Especially in the year when we lost Kobe Bryant, I feel like the city of L.A. needs this. I need this. We need this. You know? I feel like the Lakers need to get this thing done, not only for themselves, but for Kobe, for number eight, for number 24, for the Black Mamba, you know, in the city of L.A. We need this. So, LeBron, AD, don't let us down. I know it's a lot to ask, but don't let us down. As always, it's your boy, Ricky Rick. If I'm not making you laugh, not making you smile, not keeping you entertained, or giving you something to talk about, your boy, Ricky Rick, ain't doing his job. And you already know, your boy, Ricky Rick, does his job. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, give the video a thumbs up. Leave comments below. 
and of who you think is going to win the NBA title. What did you guys think about Devin Booker? And remember, I have a podcast. Add me on all my social media platforms in the link below. And your boy, Ricky Rick, is out. Enjoy you guys this Friday. Boom!